ducklings, do you know who the first female vice president of the United States was? She's also the current vice president as of November, 2024, Kamala Harris. And today we're gonna be reading a book all about her. So since we're reading a book, you know what that means. Grab your stuffies, get comfy cozy. Let's read my little golden book about Kamala Harris. Kamala Devi Harris is the first black person, first South Asian American, and first woman vice president of the United States. So many firsts. Kamala was born in Oakland, California on October 20th, 1964. Her parents were immigrants. Kamala's mother was a scientist from India. Her father was an economist from Jamaica. Kamala's parents separated when she was young and Kamala and her sister Maya were raised mostly by their mother who taught them to be conscious and compassionate about the struggles of all people. While growing up, Kamala attended both a black Baptist church and a Hindu temple. So since she's both, she attended both. In kindergarten, Kamala was one of the many black students who were bused from their poorer neighborhood to a school in a wealthier part of town. When Kamala and Maya went to visit their father on weekends, there were kids in that neighborhood who were not allowed to play with them because they were black. <gasps> what? That is so rude. Kamala's mom got a job in Canada, so the family moved there when Kamala was 12. It was hard to leave sunny California to go to a place where the winters were cold and snowy. Her father lived in an apartment complex that didn't allow kids to play on the lawn. Kamala and Maya held a protest and the rule was changed. Kamala made close friends at school in Canada and even formed a dance group, but she missed her home, the United States. Kamala returned to the United States for college. She went to Howard University, a historically black university in Washington, DC. She joined the debate team in the Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority where she organized service projects. She continued to participate in protests against injustice. After graduating from Howard, Kamala went to law school. She did so many things. For her first job out of law school, Kamala became a prosecutor, representing the people of California in court against those who broke the law. She focused on helping women and children who were victims of crime. In 2003, Kamala became the district attorney or top prosecutor of San Francisco. She was the first black woman and first South Asian woman in California to be elected to this position. So many firsts, again. Eight years later, Kamala was elected Attorney General of California, the highest law office in the state. During her time in that role, Kamala worked to protect California's homeowners, the environment, women's rights, and LGBTQ plus rights. She also helped make the police more accountable for their actions. In 2014, Kamala married lawyer Doug Ermhoff and became stepmom to his two children, Cole and Ella, who lovingly call her Mamala. Kamala loves to cook for her family and friends. She grew up eating doll, yogurt, and spiced vegetables that her mom prepared. And she started cooking as a kid, making scrambled eggs topped with cheese in the shape of a smiley face. Now her favorite foods include tuna melts, different kinds of beans, and roast chicken with lemon and herbs. Kamala exercises every day and has a collection of her favorite sneakers, Converse Chuck Taylors, in many colors. In 2016, Kamala was elected United States Senator for California, becoming the second black woman, the first from California, and the first South Asian American to be elected to the U.S. Senate. During her Senate career, Kamala defended the rights of immigrants and questioned witnesses. She also spoke on the floor of the Senate about the fact that no one is above the law, including the president, during the first impeachment trial of President Donald Trump. In January 2019, Kamala announced that she was running for president of the United States. She talked about issues that were important to her, including civil rights, anti-racism, women's rights, and getting health care for everyone in the United States. Lots of people supported Kamala for president, but over time it became clear that she would not win the nomination. 
She ended her campaign and encouraged people to vote for fellow Democrat Joe Biden. Soon after, Kamala accepted Joe Biden's offer to be his vice presidential candidate. Once again, Kamala was the first, the first African American and the first South Asian American to be named the vice presidential candidate for one of the two major political parties. She was also the third woman. Kamala said she believes strongly in the values her mother taught her, a vision of our nation as a beloved community where all are welcome, no matter what we look like, no matter where we come from or who we love. That November, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris were declared the winners of the election. She wore white the night of the announcement in honor of those who had fought to get women the right to vote, something that had happened only a hundred years earlier. During her victory speech, Kamala talked about her mother and the generations of women, black women, Asian, white, Latina, Native American women, who throughout our nation's history have paved the way for this moment tonight. Women who fought and sacrificed so much for equality, liberty, and justice for all. On January 20th, 2021, a historic day, Kamala took the oath of office as Vice President of the United States. She continues to fight for the rights of all Americans. And she said, while I may be the first woman in this office, I won't be the last, period. And then, ducklings, Kamala Harris went on to run for president in 2024. Unfortunately, she didn't win, but I know we will see a woman president someday. That's it for today, ducklings. What was the most interesting thing you learned about Kamala Harris today? I think I didn't know the reason why she wore white when she was inaugurated and that was very interesting to learn. Before we go, let's end with our affirmations. Repeat after me. I am kind. I am strong. I am important. I am brave. And I am on And you can do anything, which means run for president someday and maybe even win. Before you go, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. That way you can keep coming back to Auntie's castle. As always, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.